Okay, I had to bring Tammy in on this one because she hasn't heard the story yet. So, all right, so I decided I'm going to go fishing down at this uh, boat launch where we were. Uh, we fished down there three or four times. We haven't caught any fish. Everybody I talk to that is some kind of local person brags on how great the fishing is there. And as a matter of fact, tonight there was a guy that bragged on it to me uh, that is a guide. Uh, but anyway, I didn't catch any fish. Um, and, well, I, and we have not caught any fish the, app says we're not. the whole time because the fishing forecast is not good. And it, it pretty much, if it says it's not good, you're pretty much not going to catch a fish. But I like to go down there and sit down there and fish. And you might, get, you know, luck into a big red fish or something. So anyway, um, I go down there. And when I first got down there, the, you know, there wasn't a place to park. Uh, and there's a bunch of local people that like sit down there in chairs. So there's this one guy that's sitting down there in a chair and the other people are all at this picnic table. And of course, when I parked and I got out, you know, they all looked at me like I was the police or something, an you intruder. know, an intruder. Yeah. So anyway, uh, I get out. And I go over uh, and I set my chair up, you know, and all this stuff. It wasn't the same people that uh, on my video. Uh, yeah, some of the same people. Okay. So they had seen me before, but they, you know, apparently that today. did not remember me. But anyway, um, oh. they probably don't remember what happened that night. But anyhow, um, we, so I go over there, I set my chair up, get my fishing poles out, and, you know, and they just kind of stare me down. And then this one guy that's sitting in the chair, I go by him and I said, how's, go how's it going, you know? And he didn't even answer me. And I'm like, man, what is wrong? And I looked at the guy and he looked a lot like a guy I used to work with um, that was a notorious drunk. Um, and I can't say, you know, oh my gosh, said I know any different, but <gasps> the guy looked just, you know, like him, except he looked a lot younger. So I knew it wasn't him. Oh. But I kept kind of wondering if it was him. Oh, and his son. I thought of that. Mm -hmm. So anyway, uh, this guy was the kind of guy where like if he drank like one beer, he looked like he had drank like a 12 pack of a beer with this, this a stronger alcohol content and, and tall boys. I mean, he just looked drunk. I mean, looked like he was unbelievably drunk whenever he would drink at all um but anyway that's what the guy looked like but he wasn't drinking anything you know so anyway you know i pass all of him up i go over there and i start fishing and then um i had to go back to the truck to get something and i went back to the truck to get something out of the truck no i went back to the truck because uh, somebody moved so i moved my truck around and parked it over where i was fishing now this isn't very far it's I only moved it like probably 50 feet. But anyway, I put, moved it back over where I was fishing. I get out and I walk past the truck that that guy was in. And it smells so much like marijuana, I knew why he wasn't talking. <laughs> he was so stoned he couldn't talk because uh, he kept going back. But anyway, so he's sitting right behind me the whole time, just kind of watching. And um, then there was this woman that was on the dock um, with her son. And... I can't even begin to describe her. She was trying to get bait fish with a cast net. And uh, she would talk really loud and like to scream at her son. And her son wanted to go, uh, he wanted to fish. And so he went, he kept trying to get this fishing pole and she kept saying that it was tangled up and he kept trying to get it untangled. And he was in a parking lot and she was on the dock and she would scream at him, don't get that pole out. We don't have enough bait. You can't fish here. You never catch fish here. We never catch fish here. Nobody ever catches any fish here. This is a terrible place to fish. <laughs> and I was sitting there looking at her. <clears throat> and I'm like, lady, you know, I'm right here. You know, there's a guy fishing right here, you know. And so she just would go on and on about that. And the kid's like, no, I'm going to fish. I'm going to fish, you know, and he would just talk back to her and he would scream and she would scream. And then he came out there and he had the pole and he's like, you're so stupid. 
You got the weight in the wrong place. You don't put the weight there. Yes, you do. That's where you put the weight. The weight goes right here. And she would just be screaming. And then he would, no. Oh, so that's not the way so-and-so does it. Well, she don't know what blah, blah, blah she's doing. And she'd just cuss and carry on and scream and holler. And I'm like, my God, lady, there's people sitting right here, you know. But he was going to fish. You know, it didn't matter what she said. You know, he got down there and How he finally, he? he looked like he was about eight. Oh, my God. Uh, or nine, maybe. So anyway, he was. I'm glad I didn't go. He finally got the pole, un, you know, where he could cast, and then he kept saying stuff to her about where the weight was and is in the wrong place. And then she started asking him, "Oh," and it was karaoke night. Uh, there is a um, sandwich place back there, and they have a you know a bar and stuff too. And it's called Hub Stacy's, and uh, it's a real good place to eat. But anyway, it was karaoke night at Hub Stacy's, so. <laughs> All I could hear, in the, apparently in the parking lot, you can't hear the music. You just hear the, the voice. <laughs> and there were some bad voices. It was just like, oh, my Lord. It, it was unbelievable what all they sang, the different things, you know, that they sang. And they were just terrible. Uh, there was one girl that was okay, and everybody else was horrible. Uh, so we had to sit there and listen to that the whole time. And then... Um, and then... Uh, this bird, uh, a pellet, not a, uh, yeah, pelican. They're not pelicans. Not the ones that you think. The one with the long beak that walk around with the real long legs. What are they called? Uh, they're not pelicans. They're anyway, they look like a pelican, you know. They look like cranes. They're cranes, that's what they are. Yeah, they're like a crane. Oh, anyway, there's this crane down there. They're not Whatever they call them, yeah. Stork. It's a stork. Pelican. <laughs> Penguin. But anyway... Um, I'm eating cherries. This bird is walking around because there's always birds that walk around if you're fishing because they think if they catch if you catch a fish you throw it out, they'll get the fish. It's like a free meal. So it's hanging around there, and then this guy comes over there and he's like, "That that uh bird's got a a lure in its belly," and I look over there behind me and it's got this lure stuck in his belly and it's hanging down, and then there's a line hanging down from it and it's wrapped around his foot. And so he's like, well, we need to try to get it, you know. So he's trying to get over there close to it. Of course, it won't let him get anywhere near him, you know. And so he's like, if I had a cast net, I'd just throw it over. You know, if I was 16 years old, I'd just dive. I'd just bum rush it. I'd just run over there and get it, you know, and all this stuff. And I'm, you know. So anyway, the bird flies up in a tree to get away from him. And, uh, and then, so I'm sitting there fishing. And I turned around to do something with my tackle, and I heard a boat pulling up. I'm like, man, this sure is, that sounds real close. And I turn around, and the boat's like right there. It pulled right up next to me, uh, and he just went right onto the ground right there in front of me. And he was like, oh, I didn't see you fishing right there, man. I'm sorry. And, I mean, my line was under his boat. <laughs> and so I'm like, oh, that's okay. I'm not catching anything anyway. He goes, well, I'm waiting on some clients. You know, I'm, I'm a uh, guide. Um and he's a, he was a bow fishing guide. So anyway, he, he's the one that told me he had caught a lot of fish there, big fish, you know, and I'm like, okay, did anybody run over your line when you, <laughs> when you were fishing here? But it, anyway, luckily it didn't get all in his propeller and all this. So uh, he was sitting there and the bird, you know, had flown up in the tree. And so I'm fishing and I'm kind of talking to him a little bit and then the next thing you know, the bird flies out of the tree and flies right through my line. I mean, he's already got a hook in him. And I mean, he just, I mean, he flew down and then right through my line. And then, so now my line's on his leg. So he's kind of stopped. And so now all the people that are over there are like, oh, hey, hey, the bird's right there, you know. And uh, I'm like, well, it's on my line. And the guy's like, hang on, hang on to it, you know. And, okay, so I'm hanging on, you know, I wasn't going to, anyway, I'm, I got hold of the line. And uh, and then here he comes, he gets over there, and he, like, grabs hold of the bird, and then another guy came over there, and they had a rag to put over its beak, you know, so it wouldn't, and so the first thing he does when he grabs hold of the bird is he realizes he's grabbed hold of the bird, and the lure, the, the lure's hook, one of the hooks is now in his finger. And so he's got the hook in his finger, the and the hooks in the bird, you know, because oh it's got treble gosh. hooks. And he's like, it's in my pinky. And the other guy comes over there and he's like, well, get the hook out of my pinky. And the guy's like, where is he? Because it's in my pinky. 
<laughs> get out. And uh, so anyway, um, I just cut my line, you know, and. Um, <laughs> you should have cut your line, got the truck and left. <laughs> I cut my line and I went back over there and I started retying it. And anyway, they cut all the line off the bird. I don't think they took the lure out. They probably just left the lure because it'll, you know, rust out. But um, anyway, they were like, way to go, man. I can't believe you caught that bird, you know, like I did it on purpose. <laughs> so I was like the hero, you know, because the bird flew through my line and I didn't even mean did to. Did they get the lure they, off the bird? I don't think they got the lure off the bird because I was back over there trying to. But, uh, and then all that was going on. And then this woman goes, I want to put this on Facebook after the bird's flown off. And I'm like, you could have sat there and videoed. I should have videoed the whole thing, you know, whatever. But I didn't know the bird was going to fly through my line. So uh, that happened. So, yeah, it was just crazy. The whole thing, you know. That's why I did not go because it's always crowded. There's always it's a Tuesday night. I mean, you know what, you know, but anyway, it was just a circus. Yeah. Um, that's why I don't like to fish on that it, on that side. But anyway, uh, it was just crazy. And I got in the truck and I started riding home. And I started thinking, look at all the stuff that just happened. I mean, it was like all that stuff just happened uh, right there in that one little spot. All that crap. It was just crazy. Yeah. 